Hi, I am Sylvia Rosenberg. Today I'm going to show you how to ice a cake with a fun stripe pattern and then we're going to stack it to form a three-tiered cake. Okay, so we are going to start. Last night I baked my cakes. I put them in the fridge overnight so that they're nice and firm and uh, cold. It makes it very easy to cut and easy to work with. We're gonna need for this project three piping bags and some piping tips. Food coloring, I have a spatula. I have a little base to put my cake in. This leveler, which comes in really handy and uh, it makes for always a perfect, perfect slice cake. But if you don't have one, it's okay. You can just use a regular serrated knife. I have a leveled, a leveled spatula. I have a turning table. I have some dowels here. You can normally, you can buy the wooden dowels that at, um, Michael's Wilton makes them, but th these come in handy. They're easy to work with because um, they're easy to cut. They're smoothie straws. Towel, we need an icing smoother. We need a baker's blade. We just learned the name of that today. I have some already made Swiss meringue buttercream bowl to put the scraps in and um, I like to use a pretty base for my cake so that they look nice and professional and now uh, when I'm in a pinch and I need to do something fast I like to get these scrapbooking uh, papers and they make for a really pretty base and um, this is the one I made for this cake this is the one that we'll be using today and that's it we are going to get started with the filling of the piping bags so I have my my white buttercream and I went ahead and I pre I already mixed a little bit, uh, quite a good amount of that pink in here to make it nice and bright, vibrant. You can see it looks pretty. I have my bags ready. I'm going to use the big bag with the with the first tip, the big tip. Now we will level the cakes. Always, always wrap them in some saran wrap before you put them in the fridge because you don't want to lose all that delicious moisture. So here is where I use my leveler, but you can choose to use the serrated knife. Either one works. the bowl comes in handy. I do have a trash can in there. I'm not just throwing things on the floor. Okay, I washed my hands, I tidied up the plate a little bit, and now I'm ready to put it together. We're gonna start with a little bit of icing on the bottom so that it sticks, and oh, there goes the bubbles. You actually want it very well centered on this turning table. It makes a big difference when you're icing afterwards the outside. There. 
and you always want to clean the spatula in between. I always like to flip this one over. I have no real reason, but I think it makes me happy that it looks more even and not cut, but that's just the reason. So This is just what we call a crumb coating. It's just to get the, the cake ready to decorate. If you're gonna cover it in fondant, this is the part you also wanna make it really nice and and straight. And I am not very worried about making this perfect because we're gonna go with a different layer of icing of buttercream over it. So it just needs to be, the angle needs to be correct. And that's why I like to use this because it has a flat angle on the bottom. So it makes it always at a right angle. Okay. I'm going to start with my stripes. This is what you're going to see. And now, since I messed up my other piping bag, I'm gonna have different tips. Now I have my base ready. I'm going to transfer this cake. Um, normally, if I had more time, I would put this in the refrigerator for at least an hour and let it set and cool down, make it easier. But we'll just go ahead and do it so you see what I do. Oh, and normally I would also put a little dab of um, hot glue on the board so that it doesn't move around if you're transporting it. We're gonna eat it right here, so we're not gonna need to transport it, so I'm not worried about that. Okay, so I got my two cakes from the fridge. I tidied up a little bit. And now we are ready to stack. I have, these are the wooden dowels. You can cut them to size or the straws. Um, I like to insert a skewer in there just to get the exact measurement of the cake's height. Oops. And then we cut.
And if you don't do this, the height, the, the, the weight of the other two cakes will make the bottom cake sink and not stay sturdy. I, you can't mess it up as easily if it's cold. Try not to get any fingerprints in there. Oh, one thing. The, the bottom of this cake, I don't know if you guys can see it, no. Well, the board has a little hole. That's gonna come in really handy, and I should. There, we'll fix that later. But now it's centered. I already put the dowels inside this cake, and this is why I made a, a hole in the bottom of the second tier and the third tiers, because I, usually for traveling purposes, I put a big dowel in the middle, and that is so that if things get a little shifty in the car, your cake won't move around. But actually, I think I did mess up and I did not make a hole at the top of this one, so I will take it off. So just, just so you know, this adds a lot of stability. But um, I'm gonna take it out. We don't need to go anywhere. But you want that. You want that, I don't. All right. Oh, so you see how much smoother that was? When the cake is cold and it, I need to move it, it didn't ruin the cake. So that's why cold cake is better for working, not for eating. All right, and that's about it. I'm gonna tidy up this cake a little bit because I'm going to fix this cake. This, I put the cake in the fridge. It's been an hour, an hour and a half, and now it's um, nice and firm and I can try to fix the boo-boo I made, and that is why you don't work with uh, the wet, the warm buttercream. So, let's see, I'm gonna try. I have a spatula and another spatula, and we'll just try to make it look better. Unfortunately, it is the very front of the cake, but it's a good lesson to learn. Don't work. Don't stack a cake while your buttercream is still warm or not cold. Okay. And um, I'm going to show you something real quick, which is the reason why you always want to have a dowel. I'm going to... Ah, uh, you saw that? <laughs> so, you see how that top cake moves around? So, um, that is why you should always have a dowel in between. But for now, I'm going to... If I had a dowel in the middle, that would not have been a problem. And if you are transporting a cake, that would be really bad. That's for now. So just to make the edges pretty, you could pipe a border. I don't want a border for this cake, so I'm just going to pipe a little bit and then go over it with a spatula. If you make a nice pearl border, then the problem will be solved. Fondant, the icing smoother, or this, what was it called? Baker's blade, Baker's blade. Or in this case, we can just cut it and eat it. And um, if you watch the next video, we will show you how to cut this cake. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and share the videos and leave a comment if you have any questions. I will try to answer them. Thanks.